All right. <laughs> Good Sunday morning, everybody. What I'm doing right now is I'm practicing, okay? Um, uh, getting the words all down pat, the beat and everything else. Because here's the deal. Uh, in a few weeks, I'm going to what's called a scrap metal concert. Um, if all goes well, I'm going. <coughs> and what it is, it's a combination. I touched on this before. It's a combination of about four or five different people um, from back in the day. We'll just say uh, 80s big hair, uh, big hair 80s bands. Uh, one of them is the front man for Slaughter, which is what you were just listening to, um, which is an awesome song, by the way. So anyway, I'm bound and determined. One of the band members isn't going to make it. He might get a little too drunk before uh, the show goes on, and I'm pretty sure I'm going to be called up there to fill in. So I'm getting ready, and uh, yeah, man, that's going to be a wild night. That's going to be fun. As everybody knows, I love my 80s uh, big hair bands. It's, uh, I guess that's my age. All right, folks, it's Sunday, uh, the 7th of April. It is 8.48 a.m. I am heading my way down south via UP of Michigan, Wisconsin, Illinois, and touching the uh, southwestern uh, corner of Michigan. Uh, I'm doing a time trial here. Uh, I'm so southwest Michigan now that I believe this route is going to prove better. <clears throat> In fact, I guarantee it's going to by about an hour, hour and a half. So, yeah, heading down. Um, that big project is not ready to go just yet. The next Monday, it'll be, uh, we'll do the, we'll call it the ribbon cutting, and dirt is going to fly like a son of a gun. Um, Right now, I'm just going down there to take care of a couple odds and ends, a few little honeydews. I got the guys showing up. We got a few things to take care of. We're going to move some equipment, and uh, I want to verify some uh, locates and uh, <clears throat> look for a different place to uh, uh, create a makeshift yard for us uh, so we can bring in a, a construction trailer, office trailer, our connexes for our small materials, equipment, and everything else. So, yeah, it's just basically a couple day adventure honeydew list, uh, including uh, right now I'm in a brand new pickup, uh, brand new 250 uh, gas. It's a very nice truck. Um, I actually have to head home by way of downstate because I need to stop at the dealer. They need to put on the, uh, the back toolbox and uh, running boards. So yeah that's that so yeah it is a little early in the morning got started early this morning with chores all the feedings done including a uh, a full barn cleaning a full barn cleaning and uh, all is well the farm is an absolute go a little fast here an absolute disgusting muddy uh slurry of a mess uh not much you can do about it. it's just that time of year we need for it to happen so get the hell out of the way all right, folks, main reason for this video, I haven't done a traveling video with some music for quite a while. I'm just in one of those moods. I'm in a good mood. Um, I, I tend to be if I can help it, even if you got to fake it. Uh, I got a call last night at almost 10 p.m. Uh, I damn near didn't even answer it. Uh, I'm glad I did. Uh, <clears throat> I just acquired, there was two pieces of property um, that were lingering for the possibility of a of a lease. I just acquired one of them. Uh, very happy about it. The family got a hold of me last night after doing some hemming and hawing and everything else. And um, I basically was given the blessing to uh, go like hell. <coughs> All this property totals up to be about 63, 64 acres. And it's split up into what I'm going to call three different areas, but they're all there. It, um, by the way, this property is no more than a mile, a mile by road from the farm. This is an absolute blessing. It's an absolute necessity. Um, I, I'm, I'm tickled pink about it. This is a great news day. 
Eladias. I know uh, 62, 63, 64 acres is a, a shot in the dark and laughable. You need to understand that uh, this that this is big. So, and it's some nice property. It really is. Three different little parcels. Uh, one of the hill, one of the pieces of property is already. Um, from what I'm being told, some beautiful grass hay way up on a hill, up on a ridge. Um, I, I can't wait now that I've, you know, got the permission and blessing to go up there and really take a look at it for myself. The other part of it is uh, on the uh, original farmstead. Um, if I had to guess, that's probably, that might be about 16, 17 acres. And then on the... Uh, <clears throat> On the west end of the road is the major part of the property. So, yeah, okay, here's the thing though. This is a great deal. We're gonna call this an investment though. I'm not purchasing it, I'm renting it. Uh, with a 10 year lease agreement, we already talked about it. Reason is, is guys, I gotta put a pile of money into the gosh damn thing. I'm gonna now speak very freely. Um, with no harm intended, I'm just going to tell you the truth with no names. Um, I'm not into that kind of stuff. That land was used and abused, especially this past year. It was used as an insurance, um, an insurance claim. The most dirtiest, rottenest, no good seed corn available in this country was planted in there with no fertilizer. <clears throat> I know times are tight. They are. You tell me that that wasn't a pre-planned insurance claim. What I'm trying to tell you, be happy, Ben. What I'm trying to tell you is this is going to come with a hell of a lot of work and a hell of a lot of uh, what I call a hell of a lot of money. Um, it's standing corn, folks. It's standing corn. Uh, last night I took a little bit of a ranger ride, just a small scoot, and without stopping and counting, I promise you there was over 200, 250 deer in the surrounding properties eating off that standing corn, which I guess right now is, I guess it's a good thing. Eat up, eat up. What I'm going to end up having to do, because I don't have... I don't have the kind of equipment that it's going to take. I'm going to uh, contract. Um, I'm going to have some custom work done for me by by uh, one of the big boys, and uh, I've already spoken to him. He's extremely happy to do it. It's going to come with a price tag. Uh, he's going to get in there with his 30, 32 foot, um, extremely heavy offset discs, disc, and run through the entire property two passes. Uh, that will do it. Then of course I'm going to get in there with the culti mulcher and what I plan on doing folks is this is future now hay ground. The entire SOB is going to be hay ground. Um, I have not decided yet if I'm going to uh, what we'll say a cover crop um, <clears throat> uh, for the uh, I want to put a a low mixture alfalfa in with grass. <clears throat> um, I'm yet to determine if I'm going to put in oats. I will not put in barley. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do because here's here's the problem with um, this property as far as cropping it other than hay. There are a collection, a good collection of low lying areas. The foxtail that grows around that road, that in that area there, is some of the worst I've ever seen. <clears throat> so I don't know. I might just, uh, I haven't decided whether to put oats in there, you know, with the, of course the new seeding grass alfalfa, or just plant it pure alfalfa grass mix. So I got to do a little bit of soul searching on that. I want to see how the rest of the year pans out. Um, as far as uh, dryness and uh, um, yeah, we got a lot of standing water out there right now. So, and it's early. It's very early. We'll see what happens. 
Um, truth of the matter is, I might not be able to get in there fully and solely until almost June. If that's obviously the case, it's going to go into pure uh, grass and alfalfa seeding. Uh, and <coughs> I do not expect to get any cuttings out of it this year. Um, I could be wrong. I hope I'm wrong. I don't expect it. But there it is. 62, 63 acres of beautiful hay ground for next year. We're going to call this an investment. Um, yeah, that's about it. I don't know what else to say. Um, there is a little bit of it is, that is hay ground. I'd say about 20, a good 20 acres is already hay ground and it's going to stay hay ground. So I will get a little bit off of that um, this year. And um, yeah, anyway, long story short, the call came through. I'm extremely happy about it. It was a dire must for the health of the farm. And of course, with all the cattle that have been added on and uh, feed that's needed. What we're going to do now that I got the blessing, and late next week, I'm going to go over there and I'm going to seal up the deal with a written agreement. Understand, I am not a legal beagle. I'm not. Handshake agreements and word of mouth verbals, they still apply with me. And with these people as well, the landowners, it's kind of a group of a family. Extremely good people, great people. Um, they mind their business, they work real hard, just great people. Here's the thing though, <clears throat> things happen. I'm about to put a pile of cash in there. Um, I need to secure it for the future, so I am going to write up a 10 year lease agreement. And of course there will be some stipulations in there. And um, yeah, everybody's happy, they're looking forward to having their entire surrounding property back to normal and operating respectfully excuse my uh my high tone but um that's it folks it's good stuff this is a guy here that collects a lot of big equipment and i never see any of it work i don't really know what goes on there that's some heavy haulers there so that's it. I got a long morning ahead of me here, a long day of driving, uh, but that's okay because I got about a thousand phone calls to make and uh, a bunch of other good stuff. And um, that's it, folks. If we're lucky enough, we'll take a little ride and we'll go see this property next week. And uh, hope everybody's doing okay. A nice, happy Sunday to you. Hope things are nice and calm and collected. You had a nice weekend. You're getting ready for tomorrow. And uh, yeah, life is good. All right, folks, the road's about to get bumpy, so I'm going to cut off here, and we're going to talk to you sooner or later.